In this screencast, we are going to understand how to explain increasing opportunity costs. In this situation here, we have a table and it shows the combination of guns and pounds of butter that are produced by Econville. Um, you've got this chart and the guns are increasing in increments of one. And then you have butter, that is guns are increasing. You have the butter that is um, getting smaller and smaller. So if we want to find out what happens to the opportunity cost of butter as Econville increases the production of guns, we have to use marginal analysis. So we're going to go from zero units of guns to one unit of guns. And when that happens, we lose four pounds of butter. When you go from one unit of guns to two, you're losing six pounds of butter. When you go from two to three guns, you're losing 10 pounds of butter. When you're at three to four, going from three to four guns, you're losing 14 pounds of butter. And finally, when you go from four to five guns, you are giving up 16 pounds of butter. So what happens to the opportunity cost of butter as Econville increases the production of guns? Well, we can see here that our opportunity cost is rising with each additional gun. And so therefore, we would use the phrase increasing opportunity costs. Okay, before I get into this explain part, I want to show you, I mean, the thing about the AP exam and the FRQs is that they sometimes will give you this information, which really marginal analysis shouldn't be difficult to do once you've gone through the entire course. Um, but they'll twist it up a little bit and all of a sudden make it a little more difficult. Because if you look at this situation here, it's the same exact question, um, the same situation here with guns and um, pounds of butter, but what has happened here is the order has been flipped. And so you still need to do marginal analysis in order to ha um, answer what happens with the opportunity cost, but what you need to recognize here is that you're decreasing the amount of guns as I move to the right uh, with this table. And so when I'm answering it, I need to start with, as I'm increasing the production of guns, how much am I giving up of the, but of the butter? Do not let the order fool you as to how they present it. If you need to on the FRQ, rewrite it, rewrite the table. So that way you've got it set up this way. So if that helps you to visually see this so you don't screw up, but this here is um, still showing increasing opportunity costs. Okay, so now it comes time here where we need to be able to explain increasing opportunity costs. Um, I'm gonna give you four different ways for you to think about how do I explain increasing opportunity costs. But no matter what, whenever I'm talking about opportunity costs in this way, I need to be able to think about marginal and marginal. I've got to talk about marginal analysis twice. Um, and so one of the ways that you can state this is that as you make more and more of the guns, you're having to, you're getting less and less of the butter because it's getting, the, the change is getting larger and larger, okay? You can't just say as I produce more and more, it gives you less. That's not enough because that, this, that's not saying marginal on this part. It's got to be marginal and it's got to be marginal. Okay, so that is one way that you can explain it. Another way to explain it is that as you produce one more unit of guns, you give up more and more of butter. Another way that you could say it is that with each additional gun produced, the amount of butter decreases at an increasing rate. So you're, it's decreasing the amount of butter but at an increasing rate. And so that increasing rate is giving that marginal analysis. Um, a third way that you could say it is that with each additional gun produced, that's marginal analysis, the marginal cost is rising. So if you're seeing this before you've uh, done theory of the firm where you've gotten into the marginal cost curve, then this might not make sense yet, but if you already have learned about marginal cost, think about the shape of the marginal cost curve, right? When, when we're looking at this here, you have um, 
the marginal cost, and the marginal cost is going up here, right? This is showing here an increase in opportunity cost. That's that diminishing returns. That's another way of saying that, right? This is the increasing returns. This isn't the increasing opportunity cost, just the opposite. Um, and, and so another way that you could explain it is by talking about marginal cost rising. If I were to give a suggestion as to how I would go about and answer this on the FRQ, I think the best way to do this is use the information that you have here. So as you produce one more unit of guns, you give up four units of butter, then you give up six units of butter when you go from uh, one to two units, when you go to two to three units, you're giving up 10 units of butter. Use the data as a way to be able to back up what you're saying here, because otherwise, you need to make sure that you're articulating it. Um, you could also draw, this is a PPC, right, or Productions Possibility Frontier. Um, with that, you could draw it out with the guns and butter and show your changes along the P PPC. Um, use the data to be able to back up your explanation.